creating case updates. TrackOps uses a case update system that centralizes communication about your case. This allows you to communicate with your clients, investigators, vendors, and staff. Consider this your communication hub. Let's take a look. I just assigned my investigator to the case. I asked him to begin surveillance and to update me on his findings. He logs in, finds the case, and clicks New Update. The subject for this surveillance is the primary subject. He selects the date for the surveillance. The investigator then uses an optional update preset that the chief operator created specifically for surveillance. Since we need the same information consistently logged, the update preset is perfect for generating live case data. This preset generates the basic information needed for the update. Now he begins his update, transcribes the events of the surveillance, and adds his video and any photos or files for this particular date. Each case update can hold a maximum of five attachments, and each attachment can range in size of up to one gigabyte per file. You can also add existing case files if relevant to the update, and as long as the files are within the same access group as the case update. He then waits for his files to upload and process to continue. Once this happens, the case manager receives an email alerting him to the new update. In addition to the email, the case manager also receives a dashboard notification. The case manager can now validate this update, making it available to be viewed by clients. This update will not be viewable until it is validated. After validating, the case manager sends this update to the client contact by clicking Send and selecting the client contacts assigned to this case. With the exception of the staff and the unassigned staff block, all recipients must be assigned to the case in order to receive case update emails. You can customize this case update email to display case overview information or by adding the sender's email signature to be automatically included whenever an email is generated from you by TrackOps. If client contacts assigned to this case respond to this email, it will be delivered directly into the case update. If the client has a login, they can also update using TrackOps. The case manager can either respond to this update by clicking reply, or he can create a new update. The case manager chooses an access group for this update. By default, the case manager has this feature available based upon user role permissions. This access can be assigned to any role that may be needed. In this situation, the information is not necessary for the client, so he chooses internal. If this were to be used for staff, clients, and vendors, the manager would choose public, or if it was regarding communication among the organization's administration, he would choose admin. Public, internal, and admin are in track ops by default. Using access groups is one of your means to control which features, information, and aspects of track ops your staff, vendors, and clients can use. Like many things in track ops, you can customize these groups and create new ones as needed. This particular update is a note for the investigators. The case manager needs to communicate vital information regarding the surveillance. After the message is written, it is reviewed, saved, and then validated for the staff to view. Those are the basics of case updates in track ops. Using a central hub of communication can streamline your case investigation, make it easy to follow up, and finalize the needs of your vendors, investigators, and clients. Thank you for using TrackOps.